Hey, Claude Pallon, your affiliate starting line. Welcome. This is going to be video two of the Amazon S3 video series. As we saw in the first video, we explained that Amazon S3 is a service offered by Amazon that allows you to store data in the cloud on their web server network. Uh, and it's free to sign up, as I showed you in video one, and it's uh, easy to sign up. And then you create buckets which are your folders where you store data and then um, you upload data. But I didn't show you how to create a bucket. I didn't show you how to up upload the data. So that's what we're going to do right now. So uh, as, you, as we showed, you come here to aws.amazon.com. That's the main page for Amazon Web Services. And we come up over here to sign in and I'm going to sign in. So it'll ask for you the email and the password that you created when you created your account. And you come into your management console is what they call it. Now you're going to see up here on the left hand sidebar there. I already have some buckets, but let's, we're going to do one for the video. Create bucket. You click create bucket and you want to give your bucket a name. Now the names, uh, I'm going to call this, I'm going to go pick up some information about eJunkie, which is my shopping cart. So I'm going to call the bucket eJunkie and I'm going to see if I can get it accepted. And it did. So I created a, a bucket right here called eJunkie. Now it's highlighted. By the way, if you want to delete a bucket, you come, you hit, come up to actions, click delete, click OK, it deletes the bucket. You want to create a bucket, as I showed you here, you come in here, create bucket, pick a name that it will accept. In this case, it will take eJunkie. And there it is. Okay, so, so you here is create bucket and here are the actions you can take. You can go delete, you can refresh, and you can check properties of a bucket. We'll, we'll do that in a minute. Um, so now we want to upload files. Let's say you have, uh, you have files that you want to upload. You can create a folder to put the files in. You can just come in here and create your folder. Um, let's just do it for the purpose of and then you can put material in it. Uh, I just do a straight upload. So I'm going to click upload. You're going to get a screen here and it's going to give you some options. Uh, if you're loading videos up, a lot of them you can use the enabled enhanced beta. I do, that's what I use. But for the purpose of the video, let's just do click add files. The add files is going to take me uh, to my desktop. I'm going to ne negotiate my way to where I want to find the files I'm looking for, and here's a folder that I'm interested in, and here are the files that I'm interested in. So these are text files. I'll highlight all three. I'll click open. So now it'll bring it into my upload box here. Uh, I can see what I'm trying to upload. And if you see, set details, you see can down here, there's start upload. I'll click it. And now it's uploading the three files from my computer right into my Amazon eJunkie bucket. Uh, and it's done. So right now in my bucket, I've got these three files. Now I could create a, a folder and put these in a folder. You can do that. And now you have your text files in a folder. Let's do a video. So I'm going to click Upload. I want to add files. I'm going to come back to my here here's a movie I'll just just this is a, a video file so I'll take it it's going to come over here to go open it's ready to be uploaded I'll come down here start the upload this is a very short video and it's starting the upload so you're going to see down here on the right hand side it's, it gives you a a, a a box that'll tell you how you're progressing so it did it pr pretty quick so there it's an MO, MOV file it loaded it up pretty quick and there it is. Now, the information in this bucket that I've just put in here is private. That is, it can only be seen by me and, and it, nobody can access it, etc. Let's say I wanted to distribute this video. How would I do that? Well, there's several ways you can do it. You want to highlight it. You can come up over here to properties and you can click properties. And down at the bottom of the screen here, it's going to give you a a lower screen, a status screen. It's going to give you the name of the bucket, the name of the file, the size of the file, 
when you loaded it in. And over here, you're going to see three tabs. Details. Under the details, you'll see a link. This is a link to this video, all right, to access this video if ever you wanted to embed it or something. But if I go to the browser and drop that link in there and hit return, I get an error. And the reason is, I come back here, under permissions, if you click the permissions tab, you're going to see that the only person that's allowed access to this file is me. So let's say I wanted to distribute this file. I could come over here and click Add More Permissions. I would click it. And then the grantee, I come over here to the drop down and I will select Everyone. And the only thing that I will allow is Open Download. I will not allow viewing permissions or editing permissions. So I will come down over here and click Save. So I've just saved my settings. What I have just done is made this video public. So if I come back to my details now and I take this URL, I come up here and I put it in my browser. It's going to set access to this this video. It allows it to be played. It allows it to be public. So we've just seen how to turn a file, in this case a video, the same would hold true of text files. If I come down here to this text file, I can come up to properties or I can right click and go down to properties. Okay, and I can see here in the permissions for this text file that it is private. If I wanted to make it public, I would add more permissions, come down to the grantee, everyone, click open, and now come over here, save it. This file is now open to the public. I can do it on a file, a per file basis. I can turn in and make a folder or a, an entire bucket open to the public. I can set these permissions pretty much the way I want to. There's the bucket right here and the permissions. This is now for the entire bucket. You can see I can add it here, turn the grantee to everyone and upload and delete uh, and hit save. And now this bucket, you know, can be seen by everyone to upload or whatever. Uh, I don't like doing that. So very often uh, I will not do that. And in this case, what you can do is come over here to the delete box, click delete, and my bucket is now private. Has the original settings. So that is uh, just a recap. When you want to create a bucket, you come up here and create the bucket name and then put it in. When you want to upload, you upload, you click add files, you go to wherever you want to find your, your data, click it, select it, and uh, it will upload it, and then start your upload, and then it begins the uploading. It, you will see it down here, uh, show you the progression of the upload, and then once you have it uploaded, you can come up here to properties, select the, uh, the properties of the file that you want to upload, that you've just uploaded, uh, for example, and decide whether or not you want to make it public by clicking everyone and letting it go from there. So there you are. That is how in S3 you create a bucket and you upload data and you set the permissions. I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Pallon Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.